Hello and welcome to the Sacred Gates Ascension podcast. My name is Elora and welcome to or back to the podcast. Today we're going to be talking again about observation. And observation is one of the very first sacred gateways to go through in order to connect with your higher self. Now, in order to get used to and naturalize, stabilize the practice of observing yourself, you do need to really be disciplined. Because for most of us, we're not very observing, observant of ourselves. We don't do a lot of natural research and development on ourselves. Often we just go in what I call autopilot throughout the day. And it might not only be until we're actually sitting down, doing our practice, or you know, the energy is really intense or high, whether it's positive or negative, that we're really paying attention. Even as you notice when you're driving the car or riding a bicycle or shopping at the supermarket, a lot of it's all in autopilot because we've just done it so many times, so many times. So I just wanted to talk about how important discipline is because if you don't have discipline, if you haven't awakened your will enough that you're doing something in a consistent fashion, in a disciplined way, then you're going to find that anything you're trying to achieve in life is going to be extremely difficult, if not impossible. And so discipline is extremely important in the art of observing yourself. So we want to get used to observing ourselves all the time and just every day work on it. So it's not so much that it doesn't really matter if your you your mind steers away from the practice of observing. You don't want to punish or beat yourself up for that. But what you do want to do is to make sure that you steer your mind back, your awareness, your consciousness, your bare awareness, soft awareness, back to the practice of observing yourself. Now, when you're observing yourself, you can, of course, observe yourself walking, washing the dishes. When you're listening to someone, you can be observing the process and don't be afraid to kind of as you're exploring and trying to naturalize this process to kind of like slow your reaction down so you don't want to slow down your reaction so slow that a friend asks you a question and you you can't really like answer for quite some time but what you want to do is just slow down your your normal reaction time so that you're able to kind of get into the flow get into the stream of consciousness that arises that you become aware of when you increase your awareness so awareness really is connected to light for when we have more light and we have more light body we actually what we're saying is that we have more awareness we have more consciousness so when we have more consciousness we're able to experience the stream of our awareness the stream of moment to moment and travel through time and space more consciously so don't be afraid to just slow down your responses a little bit so that you don't just go into your normal inertial stream which can be quite fast on autopilot where you're just zipping around doing things willy-nilly and you're not really paying attention anymore another thing I wanted to bring up is in particular with observing yourself is that it doesn't need to be a clinical kind of detached cold experience I think that learning to observe yourself it's a wonderful experience of really getting into the process like a way to assist yourself through the process of the mechanics of observing yourself is to focus on the feeling of spiritual joy of spiritual nourishment the spiritual pleasure I would even say because when you do observe yourself generally gen- generally I said generally because sometimes when you're having a hard time emotionally we notice that we don't really want to be there present but most of the time the actual just natural space that arises within the the shift in consciousness when we bring more light when we bring more awareness when we bring more consciousness what happens is I feel and a lot of other people notice that you feel more pleasurable you feel more joy you feel more nourishment very quickly because what you're experiencing is more light and through there being more light there's more spaciousness you your consciousness your mind substance able to expand yeah so rather than feeling I was saying to a friend just today about how you with these sticky notes when when you are not being conscious and you suddenly find yourself trapped and and feeling very small and tight with emotions very close to you that you don't like it's like they're sticking to you there's that like the emotions really your mind really is magnetizing to the um, your their reaction to the emotion and so everything feels very tight and stuck but when you're observing yourself 
the um, the feelings and your reactions and things and emotions and thoughts can't really stick to you the same way there's a lot more space between you and your feelings and emotions and thoughts and narratives and, and normal autopilot reaction and there are inertia patterns and so you feel more space and that space between you your aware self and everything that's coming up all the sensations phenomena that feels nourishing this here this feels pleasurable this feels joyful it's spiritual and even more so when it's further away it feels even more so and so the more you practice this the more naturalized you become and so you do feel like you've got a lot more space within you and around you and because so you'll become less reactive so the things that you used to react used to react to sorry used to react to no longer feel like they're like right you know right up on your face you can't breathe anymore you know when you feel like you're trapped and stuck in these emotions and so that's really important to to attach yourself in a for skillful means for the outcome of naturalizing the ability not so that you get addicted to pleasure and 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 sensation and and get really addicted to desire and pleasure but you do want to attach yourself enough to the pleasure so that you're able to keep processing it and getting better and better and better daily because like I said it does take discipline to naturalize the, the practice of observing yourself as much as you can and so you want something as simple as pleasure or pain and I would choose pleasure with this particular activity because it's very quick and easy like I said in a few seconds you can feel better when you observe yourself attach yourself to that pleasure attach yourself to that nourishment and joy that spiritual nourishment spiritual pleasure spiritual joy and you'll find that you're then more interested and you naturally want to keep going when times are tough when you keep forgetting and you're like oh I can't remember to observe myself this is really challenging you'll want to put more effort in you'll be more invested in the outcome and as I said in another video recently the more you observe that very nice pleasure the benefits of that pleasure the benefits of having that space that nourishment that joy it you might find that you're a better person to yourself you might find that your practice is better you'll find that you start to integrate your spiritual nature into your day-to-day -day. you might find that you're a better mother a better father a better brother a better sister a better partner a better listener and you're able to make the changes bit by bit as your higher self starts to integrate through your body and so it is a really important thing to to attach to pleasure sometimes and in our product um, Teixeira opening the sacred gates of the body we have an actual practice that's very very pleasurable and we encourage our, our practitioners to get into the pleasure of it in a skillful way not in a way where you're just attaching attaching to pleasure beyond getting past pleasure yeah because the thing with with pleasure is that it we, we attach to it we want to go towards it but we can get lost in it also yeah there are certain states in in meditation where it feels extremely blissful ex extremely pleasurable but if we get too attached and addicted literally addicted to these states then that's not skillful anymore so I'm just trying to point out the difference between unskillful and skillful attachment to pleasure and joy and positive pleasurable sensations it helps us to create a path in order that we can we can walk on if everything's really difficult in your spiritual practice um, you're kind of starved of the pleasure then it's a really good reason to give it up and to resist and be stubborn and be lazy and indifferent and all your negative narratives will come up and just push that away so thanks for listening and make sure you practice actually in fact let's just practice right now and so we can feel what I was talking about with the, with the sticky the sticky note here the difference between that and then having some space in between so just make yourself comfortable